Morning everybody. How you doing? It's a beautiful morning. It's early actually. Sun was just coming up when I was driving out here. And it's cold. But I've been walking for quite a while. And I'm nice and warm now. So it's a beautiful day. I wanted to come out and have my uh, morning coffee out in the woods. Share it with you guys. And I want to share something pretty cool with you actually. Uh, it's a vintage axe that's been restored for me. And I'll just tell you a little bit about how I came to get this axe. As I walk, I've been following a guy on Instagram for quite a while. Never really corresponded with him at all, but I just love this, his work. His leather work and his axe restorations are beautiful. So I had a little project I wanted to do. So I contacted Joe at One Wolf Leather and uh, I said, can we do this little project together? I needed something done, but it didn't happen. It didn't happen for one reason or another. It was on my end, it didn't happen. So I said, well, next time. Joe's a super nice guy though. Before we uh, parted, he said, give me some time. Give me a couple weeks. I think I have something that might work. So sure enough, a couple weeks later, I get a message and he showed me this beat up old axe head and he said, let's build this one. And I said, yeah, let's build this one. So he built me an axe. He restored it, new handle, new leather work, and it is absolutely gorgeous. A few of you might have seen it. I've shown uh, little glimpses of it here and there. Maybe more of it on Instagram than on YouTube, but I'm going to show you the whole deal today. It's just a beauty. So uh, let's take a look at this axe. Just got to get to my spot. And uh, when I do, we'll show it off. Beautiful, the sun's up now. Look at that. Isn't she a beauty? Just a beautiful job. The leather work, it's flawless. Flawless. All the way around. Just amazing. As you can see, it's an Iltis ox head from West Germany. Beautiful stamp on there. Very nice vintage head. Check out the craftsmanship here. Double wooden wedges. No metal wedges here. Gorgeous. Craftsmanship is beautiful. He put a really gorgeous edge on this too. The bevels are nice and even on both sides. Nice mirror polish. No detail was left untouched. So Joe really understands what makes a great handle too. Not too thick, nice and slim, not too curvy, you know, it's just right. Feels really nice gloved, feels really nice without gloves. And this beautiful staining on the end, red, just sets it off really nice. So this is a 19 inch handle, very packable axe, perfect actually. Got a little bit heavier head than, let's say, the Grants Horse Brooks Small Forest Axe. So sometimes you want a little heavier head, you know, for splitting, especially in the winter. You're uh, splitting a little more wood, maybe processing a little bit more wood. And that's what we discussed. Something in this size with a little bigger head. He really nailed this one. So enough looking, enough talking. Let's start swinging.
comfortably use one handed or two. That's perfect little pack axe. Versatile like that. That little extra weight in the head makes a difference. Actually it feels a little bit safer because you're not swinging as hard. The head's doing more of the work. Very interesting. I like this a lot. A lot. It's able to uh, do all my kindling for sure. Versatile. That's the key. Very versatile. There we go. Of course, there's always lots of birch bark in my area. Makes things easier. Pot hangers can be elaborate or they can be very simple. The important thing is get that coffee on and fast. This is my first coffee of the day. It's going to be good. First coffee of the day. Best coffee of the day. Oh yeah. That is amazing. I tell you that fire is amazing. This coffee's even better. Nice day to get out. Well, thanks for joining me. Thanks for taking a look at my new axe with me. It's beautiful. Joe did a nice job. If you think this is something you might be interested in, I think the best way to get in touch with Joe is through Instagram. One Wolf Leather on Instagram. So uh, I'm definitely going to link below. You can check out Joe's Instagram. I'll also put his email. That's a good way to get a hold of him too. And the cool thing about it is when you commission something, you can see the steps on Instagram as he builds it for you, if you like. So uh, yeah, that was pretty cool for me to watch this being built. So anyway, guys, thanks once again. Take care. We'll see you on the next one. Please like, share, comment. I appreciate all those things. Bye for now.